Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. It is time for me to harvest my collard greens. This is the first time I started growing collard greens and I've been very very successful. This is my second harvest so I want to take you along and let you know just how well I'm doing and anyone who's interested in growing collard greens in Colorado it can be done. I'm in zone 5b. Come along. Okay, collard greens is, are part of the brassica family and bugs, butterflies like them. So I like to put a insect barrier across any plants that are subject to pests. And it just saves a lot of time and headaches from having disappointments when you have um, plants that are being eaten up by caterpillars. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my insect barrier and this has really turned out to be a an investment that was that's well worth utilizing okay i've planted chives in between my plants because chives acts as a great insect barrier plus it's food to eat so I'm gonna also harvest these chives probably right about here you can see where these have been harvested right about here and same here so here are my collard greens and you can see they have done very very well however it looks like my buck child is getting eat up by snails and so I'm going to show you how I'm going to handle that one. So right now, let me just go ahead and start harvesting my greens. So what I want to do is I just want to cut the leaves off like this. And I'm going to continue growing collard greens as long as I'm able to. Now, this one back here is trying to it's trying to go to seed, as you can see. So this is where I'm late harvesting. So um, one of the things you do wanna pay attention to is making sure you're harvesting pretty frequently so that it doesn't go to seed. So I'm harvesting my collard greens right now. And I'm taking off some of the larger plants, or excuse me, taking off the larger leaves and I need to step over here to put in the colander and I'm also going to continue harvesting these leaves this is exciting growing collard greens yes it can be you can grow collard greens in Colorado and as you can see this is my second harvest so this is, is exciting and you don't want to take too much off because you just want to stimulate growth all right and then i'm going to go ahead and harvest my chives so i'm just going to cut it off here there i've got chives and these make excellent additions to your salad now i'm going to go ahead and harvest my bok chow but as you can see i got a lot of holes in the leaves which tells me that i have snails eating the leaves so i'm going to go ahead and harvest the, these and i'm just going to harvest the outside of the leaves i want to keep the inner leaves in and just harvest the outside
Boy, they have had a field day on this leaf here. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and I think I have, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave those on. The bok chow had a lot of holes in the leaves. So I'm assuming they're snails. I'm gonna have to continue monitoring this because they could also be earwigs. I may have to come out at night with a flashlight to see exactly what's eating my bok chow. It doesn't seem to be eating my collard greens. However, one of the things that has worked for me is using eggshells, the natural and organic way in order to control snails. Now, there are many methods out there, and I've heard them all, and I've used them all. For example, one is using beer. But depending on your gardening um, environment, your region, your location, not all methods are one size fits all. Find a method that works best for you and use it. There's no right or wrong way in controlling snails the natural way. Just find what best works for you. Eggshells works best for me. I take the eggshells and I sterilize them either by boiling them in water or just washing them with dish soap. And when they dry, I crush them up. So what I'm gonna go, go ahead and do is I'm gonna take the eggshells and I'm just gonna sprinkle them. And I will have to monitor this. I'm gonna keep my eyes open on determining if these leaves, which you can see there's no holes in them, or holes in these, there's holes in here, that's the older leaves, will um, continue to get eaten up. If I notice that this, um, the, the holes are no longer in the leaves, then that tells me that I've been able to control the snail issue. If the issue continues, then I need to come out at night with the flashlight to see what's eating my um, crops. It could be earwigs. We just had a lot of rain. Uh, good a couple of days ago and um, that could be it but I'll have to do a, a pro process of elimination so what I'm gonna do is put my insect barrier I'm gonna put my insect barrier back over remember these are part of the brassica family and although I have chives growing in between just to try to control the insect pests, I have found that your plants can get quite wormy. Butterflies seem to like these types of crops and you will have to add extra protection in order to um, avoid caterpillars from eating your, your plants. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, get this um, insect barrier uh, pushed back down into the ground and I wanted to give you an update on harvesting my collard greens again this is my first season growing collard greens I'm really excited about the outcome um, I'm in zone 5b in Colorado and this was my second harvest so thank you for watching and I look forward to your comments